What's going on guys, Kevin here. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys my 2024 room tour. In this video, I'm pretty much going to be going over everything that's on my setup, my closet, and my shoe collection. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. I'll try my best to reply to all of them. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I think I'm going to show you guys my setup towards the end of the video because I'm on my PC all day and that's like probably the best part of my room. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell my closet. So this is the closet part of my room. Over here, we have some Supreme bags that I got a while ago so i have this green one and then i have this black one and then behind both of these i have this unique low bag if i'm being honest though supreme kind of died out so i don't really wear them as much uh but over here we have some bags from things that i bought before in the past back here you can barely see it. i have a neiman marcus bag and then we have a louis bag neiman marcus all saints the dark shadow box for the rick owens and then over here we just have some toiletries that i use every day in the morning this concludes of like deodorant, uh, lotion, hair, um, like nutrients and stuff like that. Also back here we have an AirPods Max box that the headphones came in, a Balenciaga box, and then a Supreme bag from some teas that I bought in the past. I forgot to show you guys one thing and it's not really important to this video, but it's going to help you guys out. So if you guys ever get any stains on your clothes, go to Target and buy this little OxyClean stick. It helps out with any stains, I promise you. I'm just putting y'all on free game right now. Now on this side of my closet, we just have some tees and like some dressing shirts. I kind of went ahead and color coordinated everything that's in my closet as best as I could. Um, so back here we have like some white dressing shirts. Nothing really special, just all white dressing long sleeve shirts. And then we have some black ones. We have some long sleeve shirts as well that I got at Zara. I'm just going to show you guys some pieces to give you guys a little peek. So this piece is actually really old. It's this see like little windbreaker jacket we have some hoodies right here from abercrombie that are really soft uh this is from zara right here unique low zara super made which is a brand that sent me out some clothes and I'll, you guys should definitely check out that video at the top right of the screen when you can an all saints hoodie essentials canada goose and then some more stuff that i have back there I feel like this year I did a pretty good job of getting a hoodie like for every type of fit I feel like I'm not sure I should probably get more though I'm sorry if you guys also hear a lot of background noise I have my window open because it's really hot in here and I also think it gives it like a better vibe to my room Right below all these hoodies I have some shoes that are just beaters that I don't really wear a lot along with some dressing shoes back there I have a skateboard and some like old boxes from stuff that I bought back there and then this is my dirty laundry That kind of concludes of the closet area and I'm moving on to my shoe rack at the top of my shelf, we have a Reese's Puff collab with Cosbox, some Supreme playing cards, which are really like tiny. We also have a Supreme sticker along with a little Kuntage Lego that I built. And then we have some Crap Protect, a Louis Vuitton bag, and then a StockX sticker, which sucks. Don't ever buy from StockX. As for my shoe collection, I also made a video on all these shoes that I have that you guys are going to see in this video. I'll leave that at the top right. Here we have some Jordan 1 Core Purple, some Jordan 1 Mochas. Uh, some Jordan 1 patent breads, Comas and Garcons, Rick Owen Dark Shadows, Balenciaga Tracks, Travis Sky Trainer 1s, and Jordan 4 Black Canvases. Next to my shoe shelf, I have a mirror that I got from Ikea. Now, I don't specifically remember the name of it, but I'll leave it down below. It's like a pretty decent mirror. And then I have a gold sticker on top. Right below my mirror, I have a floodlight that I bought on Amazon. Um, and then I have my rug that I also bought on Amazon for like a hundred bucks. And then like the most coziest, comfortable part of my room is my bed. For my bed, I have some memory foam pillows, which I definitely recommend for all you guys that are watching to buy because you'll fall asleep in like five minutes with them. Also, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have like this little plastic thing holding up my charger just in case in the middle of the night I need to charge my phone. Next to my pillows, I have my old phone. From the last room tour video, if you guys haven't watched, I also went ahead and reversed my bed sheets and I ended up getting this new blanket from Costco, which is really comfortable. This blanket is like in two different colors. On the inner side, it's like white with black and then on the outside, it's black with white. On that side of my bed, I just have like some back support thing that I also bought at Costco just for when I'm on my phone late night, along with the charger on that side as well. Here we have my remote for my TV, which is currently displaying, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Back there, I don't know if you guys should see that, but I have Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, along with the little Cancun pyramid that I bought when I was in Playa de Carmen. We have some white blinds on both of my windows, and then in the middle we have this Playboy Cardi self-titled poster. Playboy Cardi, when I printed this out, was one of my favorite artists at the time, and he still is. 
which is why I got him right here because I thought it would be like the perfect decoration for my room. And for the frame, I got it on Amazon. I believe the frame was like around 80 bucks, but you guys are not gonna find this anywhere because this was custom made by me. Right next to this poster, we have this plant that I got at Home Depot and I got it facing the other way so it gets some light. And I think it likes it here, but it's kind of like dying out because I haven't gave it water in a bit. Next to this window, we do have some things that I got from Disney when I went this past year, 2023. I have Buzz Lightyear and I have in the box because Buzz Lightyear and Woody were like my favorite growing up as a little kid. And then we have like some pins as well down here with some things that I got. Right below Buzz Lightyear, we have some clear shoe boxes that are currently empty, uh, but I plan to fill them up this year, hopefully. In here we just have some dressing shoes that I got from Zara. They kind of look like Alexander McQueen's. Right next to all that, right here above, we have a little Arcturix invite to an Arcturix movie or like an Arcturix winter film. Arcturix sticker from when I went to the store. Here we have some car magazines because I go to a lot of car events in the spring summertime. Right here we have a Porsche magazine, which is like my favorite car brand and I find that really cool. Up here we have some of my favorite fragrances, some Tiffany & Co. colognes. Versace, uh, Mugler cologne, and then some like polo cologne that I use for the gym sometimes. All that sitting directly above my IKEA dresser. It's a pretty cool spacious dresser and I really like that it has this right here. It makes it look really cool. I almost forgot to mention next to my IKEA dresser we have my Supreme backpack that I take to school like every day. This is what the bag looks like. And I just place it right there in front of those clear shoe boxes because it stays out of the way. Right above my dresser, we have my LG 43 inch 4K TV. Right now it's currently displaying like a little fire in between some rocky mountains. I'm not really sure where that's located, but it looks pretty sick. I have that displaying right now because I have this window open and the breeze, like it's really cold outside right now, so it feels amazing. I feel like I could have probably gotten like a little bigger TV because I still have like some space up there, but then I wouldn't have space for this shelf right here. Before I go into detail of what's on the shelf right here, I just quickly want to show you guys something cool. I'm not sure if you guys know what this is or could guess what this is just by looking at it. Alexa, all lights off. Okay. I know you guys are probably wondering, Kevin, where did you get this? And I actually got this in Disney in Florida. Uh, they have like a little Star Wars section at Epcot, I believe. And that's where I got to like custom build this. This thing is actually like all metal. It's kind of crazy. I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan, but I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. It was probably like my favorite part about that park. I know it's probably gonna be hard moving on from that sword, but let's move on to what's on the shelf now. So at the bottom of the shelf, you have some shoes from the Super Me that sent me out a haul along with some hoodies that I showed you guys already. Some off-white low vulcanizers, which I bought at Neiman's like a while ago, I believe. A Louis Vuitton box, which my Louis Vuitton wallet came in. Um, Burberry cologne, Dior Sauvage cologne, and then some Tiffany & Co. colognes. Right above that, we have my off-white Jordan 4 sales. And then above that, we have an Ikea plant, which I think is really cool that it hangs. Um, right above this like off-white pouch for like shoes. And then at the very top, we have this Chanel bag from a Chanel cologne that I bought that I actually ran out of, but I'm gonna buy another one soon. Nothing too crazy on this shelf, but moving on from the shelf, down here we have another floodlight, uh, the same as that one. And then we have a galaxy star projector, whatever you wanna call it, that projects like stars onto your ceiling and room. And now what I like to call like the best part of my room is my gaming setup. So here at the very right of my desk, we have my PC, which is in an NZXT case. If you guys wanna like know all the specs, I'll leave that down below for like all the PC nerds or whatever. I think I did good and I actually built this myself, but the only thing that needs an upgrade is the graphics card. The only thing is that I don't like desperately need one, which is why I haven't upgraded it. Uh, but I'll leave all those specs down below like I told you guys. Next to my PC, we have my SteelSeries RTX Pro wireless headphones, which are low-key kind of mid. People kind of overhype these and they're really expensive for like the quality that you're getting. I don't think they're low-key worth it. For my mouse pad, we have a Corsair mouse pad. This is the extended, I think, extra, extra large one. And it's really, really soft. Even though it's like Corsair, I really like this one. We have my Razer Viper Ultimate, which surprisingly still works. It's been through a lot. I think I've had this for like about three years now or more. That's a little charging dock for the mouse because it's a wireless mouse. And then this is a little audio dock for these headphones, which you could adjust like the audio, game volume and all that stuff. Here we have my Elgato Stream Deck. This is where I mute my mic, unmute my mic, skip songs, pause songs, and then skip through my OBS scenes. 
For my keyboard, I know it looks kind of different. It's something that you guys haven't seen because I actually built this myself. I actually bought the pre-built from KBD Fans. This is a 60% keyboard. And I believe it was like around the price of 320 bucks, something like that. The keycaps alone are really expensive because I bought like a set that had like two 100% layouts of like a full keyboard. Um, and then you could also change like the color settings here. And as for my keyboard, these are KO Cream switches, I believe, and they are looped. For my monitors, we don't have anything too special. This is a 1080p 75Hz monitor, um, and this is a 144Hz 1080p monitor. For both of these monitors, I got rid of the mount that it had, um, and I got one from Amazon, which is the Vivo one. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about it. And as for my wallpapers, I bought Wallpaper Engine, which is like five bucks, I believe, to like customize your wallpaper and like add some really cool ones. For my microphone, we have a Rode Pod mic along with the Rode PSA mic arm. And then this all connects to the mixer that I have back here. I'm not sure if this mixer is still sold because it's really old, uh, but that's the name of it right there. It's called Mackie AO2-VLZ3. I know you guys are probably wondering, like, do you play a bunch of video games and stuff, or why do you have a mic? Sometimes I actually do record videos on OBS on my PC. Um, and I got this mic because I don't want to have shit quality because if you do have shit quality, nobody's going to take your video serious, I guess. Next to my phone, we have my AirPods Pro Max, and these headphones are actually one of like the best headphones that are out right now. I believe they are working on a 2.0 version of them, uh, but for now, these should do like the job. If you guys are interested in like some high quality headphones, definitely get these, the AirPods Pro Max. Here we have my Alexa, and then back here we have my Harman Kardon speaker as well. This speaker is actually something new that I added onto my desk, and it's actually not the newest version, but it still does the job. It has really good bass, and I really like it. It's definitely, obviously, way better than this one. As for my chair, we don't have really anything special. It's just a normal office chair that you guys could definitely find on Amazon. You guys would probably find better options on there. For my webcam, which is on top of my left monitor, you guys can see we have a Logitech C920. I almost forgot to mention this, but for my light strip that we have right behind my desk, we have a Govee light strip. And then we also have this lamp that I actually got on Amazon like a couple years ago. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't find this no more, but you could definitely find some other options on there. The only thing left to show you guys is the Supreme poster that I have up here to the left of my desk. This is actually a Supreme Julia Fox poster. I honestly don't know who the fuck any of those people are around here, but I just know Julia Fox is looking bad. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up my entire 2024 room tour. Let me know what you guys think I should add on to my room. I can't really think of anything else to add besides like a little rug right underneath my closet or like some like plush toys pillows on my bed. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's YouTube video. Let me know what you guys' thoughts were on my room. Hopefully you guys wanted to enjoy it and have a good night day whenever you're watching. Peace.